Terry, correct me if I'm wrong, but I didn't think that was a 4-0 game. Sure. Certainly it wasn't 4-0 and um, we wanted to get the, the next goal after half-time and did everything else but score, really. And Forster was in great form and he's worked harder than Ben Williams in the game today. So um, that's an indication of how much uh, pressure we put on him. But um, I'm delighted with the players' performance. I mean, yeah, individual mistakes, one or two, this and all that. And first half, we just... That belief not quite there as it was in the second half. Uh, in the in the, you know Celtic's uh, uh, defensive third, you know we wanted to get we, we worked hard to get in that position and then give the ball away quite easily or didn't cross the ball or whatever. So second half was much better. They came out with a lot more confidence in the second half um, and took the ball to Celtic. Broke very quickly. The two wide players, Alex Harris and Abdullah Sabir, were, were excellent along with James Collins up front and Sam Stanton in behind was was different class. So. Going forward, we were we were very very good and very very pleased, and um, we kept the pressure on. And I thought it was only a matter of time before we got that equaliser. And then we get a bizarre goal against us when it's handball against Michael Nelson, and the referee says it was deliberate or it was stopped the ball going through to an opponent. When the referee, the same referee at Aberdeen, gives a completely different decision for the same incident too. So it's just bizarre from our point of view that that that's happened. And of course, Van Dijk curls one in the top corner and. We're two 0 down, and you know, deflated then, and Celtic run rampant and scored two more. So, we, but we didn't deserve a four 0 defeat. I said to the boys, very quick debrief after the game. Look, walk out of here with your heads held high because you put in a right good shift today, uh, and took Celtic all the way. Frustration as well with the, the goal we lost in the first half. Just a little bit of miscommunication between the two cent- central defenders. Well, it's a bread and butter ball, really. Just even if you know, one centre half doesn't win it, then the other one mops it up, and both of them going for the same ball and. You can't let Commons in like that because he, he normally dispatches it, which he did, and you know it was disappointing. But after eight minutes or nine minutes, it was you know a bit of a slap in the face. But the the boys recovered really well, and okay, you know Celtic have had you know sort of good possession in, in 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 areas, certain areas. But I thought we did okay, and it was just a case of well, let's build on that in the second half. Let's build on what we've achieved in the first half, and and uh, you know be better and be more positive, which I thought we were. Second half was excellent. Up until the second goal, I thought we were a different class. You mentioned Fraser Forster there. He had a couple of reasonable saves from Abdella Zubir, but the save he made from Sam Stanton, we were in the commentary position saying, pick that one out. Mm. Big paw comes out, claws it away. 1-1, one, one, that might yeah. have just made the difference. Well, we were right behind it like you, and it was oh, destined for the top corner. And um, yeah, he does he does produce a really, really good save, which keeps Celtic in the game at that time. But... You know, it was certainly a great bit of skill from Sam, and you know, you look, you're looking for so many good positives to come from the game, and Sam was probably at the top, and the way that he played and he ran about, and the energy that he showed was was uh, sensational. So, um, you know, it was people like um, you know Sam Stanton for his first start, um, Abdullah Sabir with a start, first start for a long while, Alex Harris's first start for a long while, you know, it's uh, Tom Tywo was first start for a long while too. So a lot of players coming into the team that. You know, haven't been regulars and have been missing for one reason or another, but I th- who I thought were excellent, uh, absolutely different class. So, you know, there's a lot to build on, and you know, it looks bad 4-0. It looks like a real hammering, but it certainly wasn't. And it doesn't doesn't tell the true story of what the game was. 